Hi, I'm Tom Long, and today as we're paddling on the backside of our island, on the intercoastal waterway side instead of the ocean side, we're going to be considering the Old Testament reading, the first reading from Exodus chapter 16, verses 2 through 15, for the 17th Sunday after Pentecost. Now, here again, we have the thread of bread woven throughout the scriptures. I'm reminded of the time my buddy Tom Butler and I, both teenagers, became lost in the West Virginia University forest. Wandering for hours with neither food nor drink, we both felt panic begin to creep in. The Israelites had been delivered from Egypt just two and a half months before. I don't know how long the Israelites had been in the wilderness area that they were in now, but they were definitely hangry, even if they weren't yet in a panic. When I lived in California, I hiked in the desert with my friends Matt and Marilyn, and we always made it a point to leave early so that we could be done by the time the sun was high in the sky. It is a much more dangerous prospect than Tom and I faced in the verdant sh shady woods of West Virginia. The Israelites began to criticize Moses like it was his idea to bring them out of Egypt. It never was. In fact, he started out as a skeptic when God told him that delivering his people was going to be his mess mission. Now, the people were in a precarious situation, becoming desperate for food and beginning to turn on each other and indirectly on God. Is this going to be the tale of how God called down thunder from the sky and strikes them all dead for grumbling? No, it's going to be a tale of how God shows mercy to us when we most need it, sometimes in spite of whether or not we deserve that mercy. And so the heavens rain down quail in the evening and bread in the morning. Bread. Bread, bread, bread. <laughs> we find bread from one end of the Bible to the other. Back in Genesis, the mysterious uh, priest Melchizedek served bread and wine as a priest, though his name means king of righteousness, and he was king of Salem, which means king of peace. Hebrews tells us that Jesus became a priest in the order of Melchizedek, not that of Aaron. When Jesus himself was tempted in the wilderness by Satan, telling Jesus to turn stones into bread, Jesus replies, It is written, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then there were the two miracles of the loaves and fish. Jesus told his disciples that he had bread, translated food in the NIV, he, that he had bread to eat that they didn't know about, and that was to do the will of the Father. We have the bread and wine of communion in which God the Son is giving of himself to sustain us as a people. After he was resurrected, he was recognized by the men on the road to Emmaus when he broke the bread, and perhaps best known, Jesus declares that he is the bread of life and refers us directly back to God providing manna in the wilderness to help us understand what that means. But just as Jesus told his disciples that he had bread to eat that they didn't know of, so the Israelites saw the bread from heaven and didn't know what it was. So they called it manna, the Hebrew word for what is it? Is it possible for us today to receive blessings that are hard for us to figure out? Moses had led them to freedom. He had turned bad water into good water so that they had plenty to drink. Yet, when they needed food, they grumbled. Could they have responded differently? Perhaps in a better way? How do we respond when things get real? How is life different if we walk by faith instead of by sight? What is the relationship between faith and hope? When life gets real, we each process that experience in our own way. Some may find themselves detouring through grumbling. But God's love and faithfulness will meet us where we are, as who we are, with what we need. Lord, 
Open our eyes that we might see that Jesus is the bread which brings us life in our wilderness and sustains us as the family of God. Help us to receive you as Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. Give us this day our daily bread. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Feed me till I want no more.